Mitchell S. Jackson's autobiographical novel, The Residue Years, is set in 1990s Portland, Oregon, and delves into the lives of Champ and his mother, Grace. The two grapple with their conflicting relationships to crack cocaine as they strive to hold their family together. Fresh out of rehab, Grace is determined to steer clear of the drug's grip, while Champ, her eldest son, engages in crack dealing to provide for his mother and younger siblings and shield them from homelessness. Drawing from his personal experiences growing up as one of the few black boys in predominantly white Portland, Jackson paints a vivid picture of the crack epidemic's impact on his neglected neighborhood, as well as its reverberations on racial dynamics, family bonds, and individual identities. The narrative shifts between Champ's perspective and that of his mother, Grace, who battles recurrent court-ordered rehab programs following her drug-related felony conviction. At the novel's outset, Grace emerges from her latest stint in rehab, marked by her drug possession conviction. Raising three sons, Champ, the intelligent and aspiring college student, KJ, and Kanan, Grace grapples with an unstable routine involving stints in jail and shared custody with her ex-husband, Big Ken. Prior to her legal troubles, Grace held corporate positions that provided a comfortable life for her children in their neighborhood, albeit one close to the city's more perilous aspects. However, Grace's post-rehab life proves starkly different, as she navigates low-paying menial jobs, eventually finding employment in the fast food sector. In the residue years, Grace grapples with the fear of relapse, aware that reuniting with old friends could trigger her drug use once more. She channels her energy into work, her children, and her church to maintain her sobriety, though the battle remains challenging. Unbeknownst to Grace, Champ faces a host of his own issues. Despite his intelligence and some college education, Champ witnesses his mother's struggles and decides to take to the streets to financially support his siblings. His girlfriend, Kim, is pregnant, but this doesn't stop him from cheating with other women. Driven by a need to provide, Champ resorts to selling drugs, ironically engaging in the same trade that has plagued his mother's life. He attends classes during the day while navigating the streets at night, drawing the attention of law enforcement due to his frequent presence outdoors. Complications arise when Big Ken, the father of Grace's younger sons, seeks sole custody of KJ and Kanan. Armed with evidence of Grace's struggles, including numerous rehab and jail stays, Big Ken aims to prove her unfitness as a parent. Overwhelmed by the prospect of losing her children, Grace succumbs to despair and relapses, resorting to selling herself to sustain her family and feed her addiction. As the novel concludes, Champ drives his mother to meet a regular client, fully aware of her drug use and her means of obtaining it. The car is stopped by the police, who discover marijuana in the vehicle. Caught in a seemingly endless cycle of drugs and punishment, both Champ and Grace find themselves trapped once more, with little hope of breaking free from their circumstances. Mitchell S. Jackson's poignant narrative sheds light on their struggles and the gripping challenges they face. Mitchell S. Jackson is an American author hailing from Portland, Oregon, and currently residing in New York City. His literary works include The Residue Years, Oversoul, Stories and Essays, and Head Down, Palm Up, Fictions, and Autobiographies. With a keen interest in autobiographical novels, Jackson regards The Residue Years as a contemplative exploration of his experiences growing up as a black individual in the Pacific Northwest during the 1990s. The novel has garnered several prestigious awards, including the Whiting Award, the Ernest J. Gaines Award for Literary Excellence, and recognition as a finalist for the P.E. and Hemingway Award, Flaherty Dunn First Novel Prize, and the Hurston Wright Legacy Award. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.